Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in here. I'm going to do a, a quick unboxing of the new HeroClix Iconics Peacemaker on the Wings of Eagly. Um, I know some people got the other ones early, but I haven't gotten mine yet. But I do have this one at least, and I want to do a, a quick unboxing of it here, just for those who you may not have seen it or may not have seen it in detail. So I'm going to go into and we'll find out what's in the box. Alrighty, so here's the set. Put my glasses on so I can actually read things to you. All right, so you get the DC Peacemaker on Wings of Eagly. Shows you what's in the box. Got the, of course, the verbiage on the back. Shows you what's in the box here. And we have to open it. And it's got to get another good display box. These boxes are really good for display pretty neat here and then you actually actually have on this one too uh, you can see through you go, you go back there and you can see the pieces in the set alrighty now we're gonna open this which I haven't done yet so my knife here all right so kind of looks like giant reach uh, team logo Pop this up. We will take the cards out this time before I close the box back up. Set that at the back. And so you see you get the six characters here. And there's a piece of equipment, but in this set it's just a card. So we'll see. Friend of mine at action, action Objects is probably going to be making a little 3D helmet as well. That'll be available on his site. I don't know if he saw the videos we give away before from him, but the stuff he makes is pretty neat. Alright, now that all the crinkling is done, the tape seems always to be harder to get off than or sticks better than the glue they use sometimes on the uh, characters. So let's see if I can get this open. I have been a little weak recently, I'm sorry. Uh, so you follow me, you know, I've had some health issues, so. But this is super strong. There we go. Super strong tape. I can't get my cards open, but my characters pop off the bases sometimes. All right, here we go. We have... Peacemaker, and he can be equipped with the Peacemaker helmet. What he does, he can choose the result instead of rolling for it. And then here's the Peacemaker helmet object, uh, and it has a roll a d6. The equipped character can use the resulting effect until your next turn. Screwdriver is invulnerability. That's on a one. On a two, anti gravity. He gets uh, flight and sidestep. On a three, X ray vision improved. Targeting, hindering and blocking, uh, sonic boom, knockback and pulse wave, scabies for all, poison, and when they deal penetrating damage, oh, I'm sorry, poison, and they deal penetrating damage when they use it. So that's the 10-point object with just a cardinal object for this one in the set. And then Peacemaker has another one. Uh, it's grenade taped to a Russian tank shell. Energy explosion penetrating psychic blast. When Peacemaker uses energy explosion, attack rolls of 10 or higher are critical hits. And that's downing his dial a little bit before he gets that power. And here is the Peacemaker figure. Sorry, I'm trying to get it in focus here. And then we also have uh, Vigilante. I'll just hold the card up here for you to see it. A lot of dice rolling in this. Uh, look at this one here. He's got a shape change, but on a three to six. So he's got those Vigilante tokens. And here he is peeking out from behind the trash can. Sorry, trying to get in focus here. Let's open this box up. And then we have Abadayo. And her sculpt. 
She's got that little sonic boom helmet there in her hand. And then of course we have Eagly. I love his uh, trait. Just crank a little back. You'll think you have chips. Power up. No other characters have been placed this turn. Choose an opposing character that damaged a friendly character with a Suicide Squad keyword since your last turn. Place Eagly such that he can make a close attack targeting the chosen character then do so. And he's got an 11 with blades and super senses. And then his little special power is support. Support is free, but only if Eagly KO'd an opposing character this turn. So you have him go up to his little colossal retaliation there, or his tiny retaliation there. And uh, then he can do it a um, freebie heal. And we have John Economos. John Economos has a neat little, oh, let me show you Eagly here. Forgot about that, Eagly. I think you can make him hug kind of looks like he's coming in for a hug, doesn't it? Put that one there. Uh, John Economos has a thing with hack tokens for shape change. He can use prob for whoever gives the hack token to. So he, you can leave him in the back of the field, kind of like the uh, guy in the chair. And he can use prob and a few other things through other characters, which is pretty neat. And here's his character. Might be having to get another one of these so I can use that for an Ash figure, that big, huge chainsaw. And then we have Harcourt. Harcourt has leadership. When she uses it, you remove a, you may move a friendly character with Suicide Squad up to half the results. So she doesn't have to hit the leadership, but she can roll a two. She can move one, two. And, uh, there was a trade here. Oh, neat trade on Abadayo's card here on the back. Waller's Daughter, friendly characters with Suicide Squad may use that team ability to heal when any character is KO'd anywhere on the map. So it does not have to be adjacent as a normal Suicide Squad trade is. Great set that works together. Matter of fact, you can play all of these together as a 300 point team because uh, he gets the helmet for free. The whole box can be played as one team, which is really, really neat um, for that effect, which is, you know, it's, it's nice to have these boxes like this where you can play them all. And that's the set. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching it, seeing the unboxing here. Uh, again, try to do it nice and quick and dirty. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Here's our quartz sculpt if I didn't show it. But yeah, it's a fantastic uh, set. It looks like it can be a lot of fun. Uh, I played against it a couple weeks ago, or last week, I think, uh, and barely beat it, but I beat it with a Kong and a few other things. So it was it was a it was a tough game, but fun set. I'm going to be playing this one, I think, this Saturday at our little casual game. We have uh, just a, a free play 300. Put them all together since I just got them. Play them as a set, see how they do. But again, thank you so much for watching. Anything else um, that I can do to record, if you want to. Leave me comments on things that you'd like to see, um, maybe uh, products from some of the other people that I uh, know. Again, action, action objects and um, uh, uh, Hero Forge, or I'm sorry, Craftworks Forge. Um, we can do a lot of stuff with them too. So we'll be bringing some more videos to you in the future. Uh, again, thank you so much. And I think I'm going to be recording um, uh, a game tonight at our local uh, FLGS. Our team, Giant Reach, is going to be practicing uh, 300 Modern. So we may get a couple of those recorded and put up. But please like, comment, subscribe. We're getting real close to 200, and I'm, I'm very appreciative for it. Uh, and thank you so much.